All right, ladies and germs, today we are going to be talking about the 911 gear duty bag. This bag has a lot of interesting features that make it a lot more user friendly when you're sitting in the driver's seat of a car, which is how I think most people are going to use their duty bags in America today. We're going to talk about the features it has, how big each of the pouches is, and what makes it better than other bags on the market. Stick around. All right, man, take a seat. Look, look. Ordinarily, we'd start with uh, orientation of the car here, but we got calls pending and we got to get to them. So, we're rolling. We're going to have to learn on the way. All right, today, I so we're going to start from the top down, and at the very top of the bag is a long Velcro field that you can use to attach uh, name tapes or a big patch that says police or whatever morale patches you want to put on your bag. That's kind of a nice feature, especially to be able to put name tapes on it. If you're issued the same bag as everybody else in your unit or you're going to buy a whole bunch of these and issue them to a bunch of people, or if you just don't want to confuse your black duty bag with a bunch of substantially similar looking black duty bags, you put a name tape on it and that makes a whole lot of sense. On the back of the bag is a baton holder and then on the top of the bag is a glove holder. There's also an identical glove holder on the inside of the bag center line on it so when you put, mount it into the car on a car seat if you're going to attach this to a headrest you can keep your gloves at arm's reach as well. On the very top of the bag is a pouch that is large enough to keep an entire clipboard. So if you're going to separate out your equipment, you can put a clipboard on the top with whatever stuff you need for one particular type of task, and then you can keep other clipboards on the inside for another particular type of task. It has three pouches on the front, uh, two that are large enough for a, flat, a large flashlight or a can of OC spray or a large container of sunscreen or bug spray, depending on the season and how bleach white you are and how much mosquitoes like you. And then on the opposite end of the bag is a cinch pouch that's big enough for a huge roll of duct tape and a reflective vest, which is a convenient place to put that. On the outside of this pouch is another smaller container if you want to keep small items that you won't have to get to in a hurry. I like to keep spare screws for holsters and things down in there where it doesn't matter. I won't have to access them from the driver's seat. This middle outside pouch is big enough to fit a compact size handgun. I can fit a Glock 19 or Glock 23 in there in case you're interested in keeping an extra pistol in your bag. And it's also large enough for my favorite coffee cup. So that's always a good thing. It's a good way to be able to keep all of my stuff together and keep a hand free. It's always nice to be able to keep the weapon hand free when we can. And this way I'm not filling it up with a coffee cup, which is a terrible habit of mine. The inside top lid of the bag has straps that allow you to mount it inside the car and a shoulder strap attached to the bag with two Fastex buckles on either side that allow you to unclip one side and attach it around the back of your seat to keep it from going flying if you get into a car accident or you take a tight turn or have an emergency stop. The top straps on the lid of the bag can then be unlatched and latched around the headrest of your car to give you access to all the equipment inside the bag without having to open it and close it all the time and to give you another point of contact in the case of a collision. Pouch is big enough for large Sharpie pens, pen pockets. It's got the glove holder that we already spoke about. And then another zipper pouch on the other side for things that you might not want to go flying loose inside of the car. Little small items. I keep my a spare magazine for trainees and my medication over in this pouch. Also on the top lid of the bag is a large document size pouch that you can keep spare items. I normally keep a tan pack inside my uh, bag. And now I have an extra space that I can separate small items, code books, extra toothbrush and pencils and medication and things like that. And then inside of that is another separator pouch so you can keep even more stuff inside the lid of the bag. What this allows you to do is organize your stuff in a way that you wouldn't be able to if you just had a duffel bag or a backpack in the car or even a traditional duty bag where you open the inside of the pouch and you get just a couple, two, three pouches or some pen pockets and then storage down underneath. This allows you in-depth storage of the different equipment. Down below under that is your standard duty bag inside that has a, a plastic divider and is big enough to keep extra large size clipboards, notebooks, my uh, bolt cutters that get so many bad comments for the other videos, binoculars which at some point I want to mount on the other side outside of the bag and then my little necessities pouch. It's also worth noting that even with nothing in this bag, un unlike bags from other companies, it has plastic stiffeners 
which allow the bag to keep its shape. So even with nothing in it, it doesn't just collapse down and fall apart. So let's get on to the most important part of how the bag works, and that's looking at it inside the car. One of the things I like most about this bag is how it keeps everything within easy arm reach. I have it here in my personal car, and you can see that having this bag, I can reach all the way over to the other side and easily get my reflective vest if I need to get out, and pretty easily be able to stuff it back into the pouch on the far side. And with the, top, the lid of the bag all the way up, it makes it easy for me to access pens or whiteout or anything that I have stowed in these upper pouches and they close them up without having to get out of the car and go to the other side of the bag. The pouches are big enough to carry everything you might need. And I can get into every one of these fronts easily. Now with the lid of the bag down, it actually gets a little better. And this is the way that I commonly use my bag when I'm at work, especially this bag. I really like that it has a large pouch on the top of the bag. It allows me to keep everything that I would need for normal patrol up on top, all of my spare equipment. And then if I have an accident or I'm pulling traffic, I can drop the bag down. And on the top of the bag, I keep all of my stuff for doing motor vehicle collisions and my ticket books. And I don't have to go digging in the bag under stuff to find the things that I need for that task. So it allows me to easily keep the stuff that I need at arm's reach when I need it. It also has a baton loop on the outside that allows me to be able to grab the baton and exit the car quickly if I have to. And when I go to put it back, if I keep this loop a little looser than the far loop, I can slide the baton right back in again without having to get out of the car and fumble around and find where the far loop is. It slides right back in again. It also has an option on this side to mount a pouch onto the side of the bag. So you, the area of the bag that is most likely to be used to keep things immediately available, they've actually left slick so you can put any pouches that you want on there. So the real advantages of this bag is that it allows you to keep the things you need close at hand and it allows you to organize your little office in your car a little better than you could with a traditional bag where you kind of have to choose like I said in my duty bag video that I did about a year ago, I have to choose what things I'm going to put where to prioritize how likely I am to need them and how likely I am to need them quickly, which means that my reflective vest in my other bag has to go in this main pouch so I'll be able to get it, where in this one I can reach all the way across and get it from the cinch top bag and be able to put it back easily. That's really one of the best features of the 911 gear duty bag vehicle organizer. It's not just a name, it actually does help you organize your vehicle better than a standard duty bag. So that is the 911 gear duty bag utility organizer in a nutshell. It allows you to organize a lot of equipment in a way that not only keeps it up in the front seat with you, but also so you can access it from the driver's seat when you need it. It's an important consideration when thinking about buying a duty bag. The link for it is in the description down below. Until next week, you guys be safe and take care of each other. I'd like to thank all the Patreon supporters and especially the shift supervisor level Patreon supporters that we have listed here. Your contributions are what allows free field training to continue on and become better. Thank you. Well, now if you like that video, go ahead and subscribe because there's a whole lot more to come. As soon as I uh, finish up these calls, go 10-8. County 291.